Hey everyone, we're just wrapping up dinner from the Enthusiast Tour and everybody's been out, we had a great time. It's been two days of solid killer stops, car museums, Notre Dame, football stadium, some fun cars obviously on the tour. We're crushing it, great people, great restaurants. The Enthusiast Tour is awesome. If you have a chance, you gotta do it. Put it on your list. The event is, it's really one of the nicest tours, if not the nicest tour I've ever been on. It's a fantastic group of people. It is so well planned and it's, the diversity of events is just phenomenal. Um, like you know, we went to a farm and learned about Wagyu beef. Uh, we went and saw one of the greatest Midwest collection of Packers that exists. We just did so many different things. We saw a fantastic Corvette collection. The and the food was phenomenal. We went to a five-star, Michelin five-star rated restaurant and had some of the best hamburgers like I've ever tasted in my life. It's just a fantastic trip. You know, going forward, it's gonna be on the calendar going forward and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> it was all good. <laughs> Everybody's been friendly and considerate and kind to, to us. It was more of a fun ride, curvy roads, kind of things we like. As far as what kind of cars I like, again, I worked in the auto industry for 40 years, and I, I like them all, one way or another, and I still buy American cars whenever I can. <laughs> well, I'm driving it. <laughs> <laughs> the 2020 Corvette, blue. The food was excellent, uh, uh, asking questions about if people other than car people would uh, want to do a cruise like this. I say yes, going to the Wago uh, farm today and Notre Dame yesterday, that's great. It's, it should be for everybody. Mm -hmm. Get some good food, mm -hmm. nice ride in that, and some car collections. Mm -hmm. I think it should impress everybody. I think it says it all in the name, the enthusiasm, you know, enthusiastic. Uh, car enthusiasts. I think that is the name of why people come out here. You get to experience things you would never get to otherwise. You, know, you get to park on a pedestrian walkway. Mm -hmm. You get to see private collections that are never open to the public, rarely open to the public. You get to hang out with a bunch of interesting people. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're in an inclusive club. You get to do things other people cannot. I think lunch yesterday was probably the best yes. one so far. And that was the Studebaker uh, house, was it, or museum? Yeah, that hors d'oeuvres were just top of the line. I didn't want to stop eating the hors d'oeuvres. We appreciate them putting this on every year, and it's, yeah. it's been fun. Yeah, it's a perfect time. We, we love coming. I am here with the Kawasaki's. Hi guys. Hi. How have you enjoyed the tour so far? We've gotten to do a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. But do you have one favorite thing? Oh gosh. I think the highlight of this trip that you participated last year was going to the VIP tour through Notre Dame. Yes. That was um, amazing. It was impressive. You get got to go down in the field and got to hear through our docent tour guide um, about the little stories that went along with the, the growing of the stadium and the college. This is a cool thing. You know, there's literally something for everybody. But if you are a car guy, wonderful car collections. It's so cool to be able to hang out with like-minded people and be able to get to know the worldwide auction staff. I mean, it's been a great PD, great cars, great people. And really that's what it's all about, right? The experience of just hanging out, seeing Notre Dame, seeing a Wong Group beef rim. Oh, like that one's so Fabulous food. I mean, really, that's what Car Tour is all about. And really, we have met like literally lifelong friends yes. on these tours, right? We really want to watch you together. Oh, well, there you go. These are the kind of experiences that you can only experience at the Worldwide Enthusiast Tour. And we're hoping to see you guys next year. Come on out. Hey, John, the Enthusiast Tour is wrapping up. We are in Leo, Indiana. Cap it all off for us. What's been your favorite part so far? Well, I think it's been the people. It's always the people for me and being able to connect with our cars. Our cars is what bring us together. And it's springtime, so be able to get out and drive cars, have fun, 
Uh, so that camaraderie to me is what it's all about. Yeah, and you all have the cars obviously in common. Speaking of the cars, what have been some of the cars that folks are driving on this tour? Well, we have had the oldest car, I believe, was we had several from the 30s and all the way to today. We had some modern sports cars and supercars, which is great. And I think that it's a blast to sometimes we'll trade cars. So you get to try out a couple different cars. But I think the other thing that I like when we do these visits and stops because uh, we're seeing some car guys, but we're also seeing kind of what made them car people. The human they, element of it, yeah. Yeah, where they created some of their income and wealth to acquire some of these cars and just unique experiences that you can't get normally, uh, aside from being with the folks and getting our cars out. Uh, those unique experiences are able to create on this. And like even the place we're in right now, first people who've ever got to be in this new car space that- I didn't even know that. Gracious host were able to open up for us today. Uh, so we just get to see stuff that you don't normally get to see. Would you say maybe that's your number one reason? Let's say um, someone's never been on this tour before, but we know you're gonna do it next year. You're gonna bring it all back. Uh, if someone's on, oh, I don't know if I want to oh, go to Auburn, Indiana for that. Would that be your number one reason why they should join the Enthusiast Tour? Well, as someone who's been on some tours, if you've been on a tour, then it's the unique stops and interactions that you get. If you've never been on a tour, then this is one, it's a hub tour. Uh, so you get to stay in a central hub and then go out each day and end up. So it's a little more convenient. So if you're a rookie, uh, this is the way to do it. And, and great food, of course, and we have some tremendous food. And We've got some of the best food in India. We really do, we really <laughs> do. So uh, I would say depending on, you know, if you've been on one before or not, there's different reasons you might want to, but I mean, everybody on the tour is fantastic and, and the relationships that you build or grow are what it's all about. And you get to hang out with John Cruz. Hey. <laughs> so for all of you thinking about it, uh, now's the time to start planning next end of April, so the last week of April, the Enthusiast Tour 2024. We'd love to have you join us. It's going to be a blast. Great people, great cars, great unique. Can't get without being on the tour stops. So make plans today to join us for next year. Mark your calendar.